Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's understand this uh, Daniel cell. So this Daniel cell again uh, has zinc and copper as electrodes. So if you see, there are two electrodes, zinc, understand the color of the zinc, it looks like almost like silver. And copper, you must have seen copper in your house. And the reaction in this is zinc plus copper sulfate gives zinc sulfate and copper that's the whole reaction in the daniel cell so if you see zinc has more reactive than copper we have seen just now so zinc becomes zn2 plus and copper is reduced to copper plus is reduced to copper right so here uh, again uh, we'll uh, first anode we have this anode cath cathode issue so we'll first write anode and ox and red guy the memory tip we have right so anode is where oxidation will take place and reduction is where a reduction take place at cathode we'll see where it happens right so we'll see what is the oxidation reaction so if you see zinc to zn plus 2 is what oxidation reaction correct so that is nothing but anode and copper plus to copper is a reduction reaction so that will happen at cathode Correct. This thing we know now. So we have something called anode, we have something called cathode. Now the way it works is this was designed by uh, John Daniel. John Daniel. John Daniel in 1836. He was a British chemist actually. And the main thing he was trying to do is he was trying to remove that uh, hydrogen bubble problem. Hydrogen bubble problem. So that in the voltaic cell because uh, voltaic pile actually so in the voltaic pile also used to generate electricity but that had this hydrogen bubble problem so he was trying to eliminate that and the potential for this is 1.1 volt we'll see that and please note all the concentration is one molar one mole uh, this is zinc sulfate one mole this is copper sulfate so what is done here is one mole of copper sulfate this is sorry the blue one is dipped in copper rod or here we have a zinc rod dipped in one mole of zinc sulfate correct so i have this is my zinc rod and this is my copper rod as i told zinc rod zinc gets oxidized so it has to be anode so this has to be anode similarly copper sulfate is reduced to copper so this has to be a cathode correct till this point is clear so what we have done is what john daniel did is he took this zinc in zinc sulfate copper and copper sulfate please note zinc in zinc sulfate copper and copper sulfate pretty easy right this is zinc in zinc sulfate solution copper and copper sulfate solution and they are in two different beakers separated by salt bridge i'll tell you why the salt bridge is used now what is happening here is zinc we have in zinc sulfate solution correct but the zinc has a tendency to become zn2 plus correct so zinc from this if you see the zinc metal is deterministic. why because the zinc from this metal will try to become zn2 plus by giving out two electron correct and that zn2 plus will come into the solution so i'll get two electrons here right i get two electrons here in this metal these two electrons will pass you see this is the direction of electron flow and will come back here so here we'll get back two electrons through this wire and that is what we are trying to achieve in the electrochemistry, right? We are trying to have this chemical reaction. We are trying to make the electron pass through an external circuit. And this electron will produce electricity. Correct. So the same reaction we have seen, right? We have a zinc dipped in a copper sulfate solution. Where we just saw, right? The reaction happens. But there also electron transfer took place but the electricity was not 
produced because the electron transfer was internal. So here we are trying to do one thing. We are just separating this uh, chemical reaction, trying to make sure, trying to design this electrochemical setup in such a way that the electron is forced to transfer in an external circuit. So if you see here, zinc had tendency to become Zn2+. plus. So this zinc here became Zn2+. plus. It gave two electrons, so electron was somewhere here only. So electron was in this metal, zinc metal. It got transferred through this wire and it the bulb glue and now the electron came back. Right? Since the electron came back, now this electron will be used by copper sulfate solution. This is the copper sulfate, right? Copper sulfate solution. This copper sulfate will take these electrons, two electrons, and will form copper. Right? This copper sulfate will sorry this copper plus will take this two electron see copper plus will take this two electron will become copper so reduction will happen here zinc as i told zinc will give become zn plus two and give some two electrons these two electrons transfer to the circuit to the circuit and this transfer of electron will produce electricity and please note the transfer of electron and transfer current is in the opposite direction so the electron is transferring in this direction the current will transfer in Correct. And now what happened? What will happen is after this reaction happens, if you see, there will be a lot of Zn plus two ions here, right? There will be a lot of Zn plus two ions in this. Correct. And here they will have a lot of SO four minus ions because the CuSO four, if you see, strong electrolyte, it will easy break into Cu plus two and SO four. Cu plus 2 is being used, but SO4 to minus is still there. Correct. So that will produce, have a lot of SO4 to minus, a lot of SO4 to minus. And this will have a lot of Zn plus 2 minus. So there will be a difference in charge, right? And that is not good. So what will happen is, we need something to neutralize the charge. And for this, we need something called salt bridge so there is a salt bridge there is a salt bridge here there is nothing but it has some uh, ions and it is an inverted tube right so it is prepared by uh, filling agar agar kcl this is agar agar kcl mixture it's a u-shaped tube made of glass so generally three agar agar solution and dissolve in 100 ml of kcl solution and they don't react chemically with this species. For example, this agar agar and kcl solution will not react with SO4 to minus ion or with Zn plus 2 ion. They won't react, right, chemically. And this is just to maintain the electrical neutrality in the solution. So this, is, this has become a lot of positive, lot, lot positive, this solution. And this solution has become lot, lot negative. Negative solution. This is a positive solution. To maintain the neutrality, what has happened is the salt bridge through this salt bridge. Here we have SO4 to minus, right? It will flow in this direction, and here we have Zn plus two, a lot of Zn plus two. It flow in this direction. So you want to see the animation? This is the animation. So if you see the electrons, the green is my electrons here. The electron is flowing in this direction. A lot of SO4 to minus here in this beaker, right beaker which is copper sulfate and a lot of Zn plus 2 ions on the left so to maintain the neutrality if you see to the salt bridge Zn plus 2 ions is going in this direction and SO4 2 minus is going in this direction in the salt bridge and the electron is moving in this direction so the current is going in this direction right so electron going left to right and the uh, current going right to left so that is the whole flow of Daniel cell. So the, the main objective behind uh, such a great construction was to make sure that the electron flows, the electron which is generated from this reaction. For example, if you just keep this uh, zinc and copper sulfate in a, in a container, this reaction will happen. Electron transfer happens, but this electron transfer is not being utilized for a useful purpose. So the way it is, the good part here is this, in this case is, the cell is constructed in such a manner that this is used right 
the cell transfer the electron transfer the electrons is being used to generate electricity so this electron for example here if you see the electron came in this plate because zinc became zn2 plus and we got two electrons here right two electrons here two electrons we got here why because zinc became zn2 plus and these two electrons now move in this direction so once we have electrons here these electrons here in the right hand side is used by this copper sulfate solution right so it becomes copper and this copper gets deposited here but this so 4 to minus is extra here so this so 4 to minus here extra and this zn plus 2 here extra they create a charge difference the salt bridge helps to maintain the neutrality zn2 plus goes in this direction so 4 to minus goes in this direction the salt bridge is made in such a way that the chemical inside this is chemically inactive or inert to these species so here i have kcl with agar agar and this kcl is not reacted to zn plus 2 or so 4 to minus correct so if you talk about uh, this is my oxidation reaction the reaction that happens at anode because ox is my anode and this is my reduction reaction that happens at cathode and this is the whole reaction if you merge these two reaction right if you add these two reaction if you get this reaction if you see zn plus cu2 plus adding both on the left hand side you get this zn plus 2 and copper on the right hand side you get zn plus 2 and copper on the right hand side two electrons two electrons will get cancelled correct so this is my oxidation half reaction reduction half reaction and i have a total reaction so i have three reactions here oxidation half reaction reduction half reaction and when you add these two oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction you get the net reaction of this daniel cell please understand this daniel cell because if you understand the concept of and daniel cell we can understand the concepts of other cells which we'll be discussing a little improvement over the daniel cell right zinc plus copper sulfate solution reaction happens zinc is more reactive zinc, zinc becomes zn plus 2 and copper plus becomes copper this is we know now the challenge was to make this reaction happen in such a way that the electron flows in the circuit so that we can use this to generate electricity and that what it is done here zinc becomes zn plus 2 because zinc has tendency to become zn plus 2 two electrons are released here right this electrons transfer to the circuit you get two electrons here these two electrons are being used by now copper plus in this in this solution to create copper and copper gets deposited here so if you see over a period of time you'll see more and more copper here and less and less zinc here and since here in this zinc if you see lot of lot of electrons were there so see so we gave a negative charge to this node see here negative charge why because there were a lot of lot of electrons here it get it got negative charge here we had deficiency of electrons being used and got a positive charge please note in chemistry we only talk about anode and cathode anode where oxidation take place cathode where reduction take place positive and negative charge you have to actually calculate based on this reaction where you are getting more uh, electron density that becomes negative charge where you get electron deficit area that becomes positive charge now we'll see the daniel cell as electrolytic cell now please note here is the daniel cell voltage as i told you is 1.1 volt right now if you apply a uh, potential opposite potential here right if you apply a post opposite potential here what will happen so things will change example if you see electron will flow in this direction because the potential i've applied here this is more than 1.1 volt this is let's suppose 5 volt and this cell was 1.1 volt so net if you see is this is the bigger or stronger battery so this is a stronger battery if it is one more than 1.1 volt because this whole thing is 1.1 volt this is 5 volt is more than uh, obviously 1.1 volt this is a stronger battery this will rule so it has negative charge here so we have put it here and we put this here right so in this case what will happen is the electron will flow in this direction correct you know there is a battery here this is a positive charge negative charge the electron flows from negative to positive and the current flows in the other way direction right so electron flows in this direction current flows in this direction 
two electron flows in this direction. Now, at this point, when you have when you provide a more uh, voltage to this Daniel cell, it works as electrolytic cell. We will discuss electrolytic cell in more details actually, where we use this for a non-spontaneous reaction. Here what will happen is since it has got electrons here, so Zn2 plus in the solution will become zinc if there is, if there is some, yeah. And here uh, it has got more, uh, sorry, deficit of electrons. So here copper will get oxidized to copper plus. So if you see, this is non-spontaneous reaction, right? Generally, typically zinc will not try to become Zn 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 plus to the Zn is a non-spontaneous. It will not happen, right? Similarly, Cu2, Cu2 plus is a non-spontaneous if you compare copper and zinc in the same solution because zinc is more reactive. But this reaction will happen if you apply external current. So this was a non-spontaneous reaction. It will happen if you apply external current. So if you see, this is now a non-spontaneous reaction which is happening because of the external electrical energy and that is nothing but my electro electrolytic cell. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.